picture. I was like, are you kidding? It's so cute. So how tall are you? Do you have any siblings? What was your first job? So, let's go back to school. Have you tattooed your eyebrows? Do you use fillers or Botox? And do you bleach your teeth? What is your biggest inspiration? So... morning guys this is not good because I've lost the stick that I screw on to my camera so it's just literally a camera so I'm having to prop you in angles that I don't know so you're on the dashboard but we're in good morning how are you all happy March that's crept up on us hasn't it but I hope everyone's feeling a little bit out of the new year slum by now i am i'm feeling better and also i'm feeling better after my water infection like feel so much better i think without even realizing i was losing a lot of sleep and quite run down because of it but all good did my little home test strips and all the colors are quite normal now i do still go for a lot of wheeze though i think that is just me I'm like a sieve, honestly. Um, but thinking about it, I do drink quite a lot. I drink lots of water. I have a tea and a coffee first thing in the morning before nine o'clock, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting it down to that because I've done the test. I'm good and I'm feeling better. So check out this. I've got to show you this. I am in love. Look at the new phone case how girly and cute as soon as i saw this one i had to have it in fact i actually tried to get nancy to have this one because at christmas time she obviously got a new phone for christmas so we went straight onto this website to get her a new phone case and i thought oh do you know what i'm fancying a new phone case as well so we was browsing and browsing they've got so many on there hundreds i was like oh what about that one nancy it's so you you have to get that but I think because I'd spotted it first and I was like crazy about it, she kind of wanted to choose her own. So she was like, no, no, I don't really want that one. It's just a bit a bit young, you know, a bit babyish. I was like, are you kidding? It's so cute. So you. Anyway, she found her own, which is also amazing. It says living, living a best life. It's got Pink Eiffel Tower on there. It's got London on there. It's very her. Um, but I couldn't let this one go because I loved it so much that I thought, I'm having it. I don't care if it's young, I love it. Anyway, these phone cases just arrived yesterday because we had to get them delivered to the UK and then my mum had to post them over, blah, blah, blah. And she saw mine. Face dropped, tears in her eyes. I like yours better. I was like, I knew it. Should listen to your mum. And I was going to give her it, but we've got different phones anyway, so it wouldn't fit. But anyway, she's ended up loving hers too. So just a little lesson. You should always listen to your mama. <laughs> okay, so I got lucky this morning because usually it's my dance run this morning. Nancy dances first thing on a Wednesday morning and it's a real trek. Like we have this dance run four times a week and it's a long one and it gets very tedious. But... Ryan had a meeting with work on the next street to Nancy's dance at the same time. So, wow, I got lucky. It's pointless taking two cars all that way, which means I've had a lovely quiet morning, Seth's at school, and I can go to the gym. Lovely, a little win. So we're gonna have a real healthy day. We're gonna eat some healthy food. We're gonna have a great big catch up because me and Ryan have filmed our couple Q and A, but also I've still got lots of personal questions that you've asked 
about me so I thought I could add them to this vlog as well so let's get to the gym get for a workout and have a great day together okay it is time to sort this celery out because I've really fell out of the habit of doing my celery juice lately actually and I'm feeling it. I love the health benefits. So I picked up this yesterday from the supermarket but the thing is with celery you've got to act fast. This is far too big to keep in the fridge obviously um, and if it stays on the side it goes quite limp very quickly. So I'm just going to get all this chopped up, sit it in a bowl of cold water and then let's juice it and store it in the fridge so that it's fresh for the next few days. Celery juice for the next few days. Let's go. I actually went through a phase of juicing with the actual celery leaves on, like juicing the leaves as well because I just felt like it would extra goodness but now I don't I get rid of the leaves because it gives it like a much more bitter taste I find it much easier to drink when it's just the actual stems and it has to be really cold bit of ice in there goes down and I won't have any today it's like a morning thing I like it best on a morning on an empty stomach and that's when I really feel the health benefits Feel super cleansed, energy, just really clean, healthy, neutral gut. You know, I think it's amazing for gut health. So, if you haven't tried celery juice already, I 100% recommend it. And here is what I use to store my juice in. It's just like a like a thermal extra large flask kind of thing and it just keeps it super cold and fresh in the fridge it's got a real good like airtight screw top as well so I'm just going to pop this in there perfect tomorrow morning celery juice I am having you you've got your protein and all your goodness and even though it looks like quite a big portion it's actually still quite light it's not stodgy you've got minimal carbs in there I love it what a great post-workout meal hi everyone just me again I apologize for the car check-in 
and the complete randomness of this vlog because I picked up the camera and started filming this vlog and then I haven't picked it up for quite a few days. I'm full of cold, like I think I was a bit late starting with the celery juice because I've caught the cold. Me and the kids have got it and it's like a really annoying one, you know, like your nose just streams out of nowhere and hot eyes and it's been waking me up in the night um but I think I'm coming towards the end of it now so I apologize I started this vlog and then it literally just stopped and here we are and also I have been filming lots of other stuff in the background as well which is for a separate vlog like I've got so much to update you on I've got lots happening in the house as well loads of home updates coming for you which will be very soon I'm like trying to catch up at the moment with the backlog of footage but yeah I'm just about to head out go get a food shop because I've slipped behind with the food shopping I've slipped behind with my workouts I'm going to go on a nice walk today a bit of a power walk and just get myself feeling back to normal I've got a, like a vitamin drink that I've just mixed up in here as well which I picked up from the chemist yesterday but I thought this half of the vlog could be answering some of your personal questions which you had for me because when I asked for all the questions we had lots of different ones ones for me and Ryan which we have already answered in the couple Q&A if you missed that I will leave it linked down below then obviously I had some personal questions for me which I'm going to answer with you in a moment and then obviously we've got the French Q&A come in as well. All things moving to France and our experience. So let's get on with it. I've actually got a little list and screenshot of them on my phone. So the first one, there was quite a lot of this and it's basically what was your first job? So let's go back to school. Unfortunately, hated school. I really did. I couldn't wait to leave. I can't remember any subjects that I thoroughly enjoyed. I really struggled to concentrate and get into it and yeah, I hated school. The only subjects I remember enjoying was childcare. Surprise, surprise. Like I couldn't wait to take the um, realistic doll home we all got the chance to take it home for the weekend and I couldn't wait for my turn loved learning about child development and then occasionally I liked art if I could really relax and let myself concentrate and get into it but yeah didn't do great at school left school and my first job was in retail fashion retail my mum spent her working years in fashion retail so it was pretty easy to get on not at the same store at a different store um but that was my first job and I loved it I loved the behind the scenes and learning about all the customer service and the stock and the merchandising and yeah loved it all but obviously it was my first job I was never going to stay there so then I went on to a call center where one of my friends was working because it was apparently great money it was sales and quickly realized that wasn't for me definitely not sat down at a desk at a computer all day and it was for an energy company as well so it was just not me whatsoever so then I thought right what do I want to do what interests me and I went to college and did level two beauty therapy which I loved did everything from skin to nails to makeup massage all of it absolutely loved it left college and did a little bit of mobile beauty and worked on a makeup counter within Debenhams for a short time and then I got married and best job in the world became a mum so there you go first job and more answered next one is how tall are you so I am five foot six and a bit I'm pretty sure I used to be five seven I'm sure I was but then recent years when I go to the doctors for my measurements I am five foot six so I've lost a little bit do you have any siblings no 
I am an only child. I would have loved a brother or sister growing up. I hated the focus all being on me. I didn't feel like I could get away with anything, although I did. I still had some sneaky moments, especially during my teen years. I was a hideous teenager, but my mum and dad planned me very much. Like my mum just had this urge for this little girl after she got married and apparently it came true she loved the baby stage and then I got to terrible twos and I believe from then on she found it all an absolute challenge and a battle and questioned whether she was doing it all right and yeah I don't think she thoroughly enjoyed motherhood from that point we're not all the same, are we? And I don't blame her because I am a huge challenge. But um, no, they never got the desire to have any more. So it's just me. Next one. There was quite a few on this kind of topic. And it's something I've never spoke about on my channel before. And that's because I don't feel like it's important. I don't believe it makes you any happier. I don't want to promote it. Anyway, I'm going to pick like the question which covered a few topics so I can answer them all. So this one says, have you tattooed your eyebrows? Do you use fillers or Botox? And do you bleach your teeth? So firstly, eyebrows. I had my eyebrows tattooed a long, long time ago, like eight, maybe ten years ago. At first, I really liked them. And then I was like picking fault, like is this one darker, is this one thicker? And then shortly after I hated them because um, as the colour set in, it, it threw off this funny pigment. It had like different colour undertones, like pinky undertones. And I just hated them when I had no makeup on. So there's none left now at all. It's completely gone. It took a long time, but it's completely gone. And it just wasn't for me. I didn't like it. I much prefer just um, using makeup and filling them in when I need to. But, I mean, they're not great, but I much prefer just seeing the natural hair on me. Uh, so, yes, I did. Um, next one. Do you use fillers or Botox? So, my 20s was very different. My whole priority with beauty treatments and what I felt looked good and looked nice was very much different so i did have botox quite regular and lip fillers as well and my whole image back then was very different it was about achieving the lowest number on the scales i had much more bleach in my hair used to get my nails done all the time and yeah fillers and botox well lips fillers i've never had like other fillers no cheek fillers or anything like that that is like bone there guys but yes uh, lip fillers botox was like a must and i think it was much more hyped and new back then as well and then i turned 30 so before my 30th i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna be 30 i'm gonna be 30 what do i need to do uh, so i tried like fixed in hair extensions for the first time didn't really get on with them and then in the november 2019 we moved to France and very very shortly after that Covid hit so everybody's beauty treatments of course came to a halt on top of that I just moved to a brand new country didn't speak a word of the language and I didn't know a single soul to ask for recommendations so my whole mindset changed over the last four years and I've never been as focused on health and wellness as much as I am now. Like when I feel my best and I feel like I've got the best glow, it's when I follow my anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle. I'm up to date with my workouts and my fitness. I've never loved and been so happy with my skincare routine i've never got to grips with retinol until these last recent years which i love by the way if used correctly spf so have i tried botox since i moved to france yes i have i found somebody that was recommended and to be honest i think it's much more subtle 
and relaxed and I find that with a lot of the French guidelines here with all sorts of things they don't do anything drastic you know um, so yeah I had it a couple of times in the three and a half years that I've been here but it's really not a priority anymore to be honest maybe that'll change in the future as I get older uh, lip fillers I haven't had them done in my 30s whatsoever the last time I had them was prior to my 30th birthday I was 29 have I got any Botox at the minute I don't believe I have guys I mean we've got forehead wrinkles we've got frown we've got some hair lines yeah um skincare is my favorite when it comes to refreshing and keeping glowing and whatever and health and wellness good healthy nourishing foods will i have lip filler again i don't think so i honestly don't think so and i'm much more nesh as well in these years but never say never who knows my mind changes all the time but i can't see it is there any left in there i think there may be a smidgen left in there from when I used to have them done and they feel very natural to me now but I'm only saying that because when I have like salty foods or sugary foods basically foods that cause inflammation for me and water retention or alcohol they like swell up and attract water a little bit so I believe there must be still a little bit left in there because I do notice that on different days. Would I ever get it removed? Absolutely not. I wouldn't bother. Just leave them now. Wow, that was a long one. Long answer. Uh, oh, teeth. We've missed teeth. So I had Invisalign for about 18 months, which was fantastic. It straightened all my teeth. But then, of course, I wanted a brighter, whiter smile. So I was doing the teeth whitening treatments which i am extremely sensitive to like there's been days when i've been in bed with a migraine due to teeth whitening not worth it so i couldn't keep up with that plus i like tea coffee food and i couldn't be bothered to think about not eating and drinking stuff so ryan was wanting veneers he was wanting his teeth done and i was like mind on he was like are you kidding you've just had Invisalign for 18 months and my mum and my dad and my friends were like my teeth are really straight they're really good now but it wasn't enough so I went with Ryan to get our teeth done and I had a type of veneer which is called Emacs veneer it's a very thin overlay I don't think I would have been able to have that if I'd not had the Invisalign prior because I think your teeth have to be okay to be able to have that veneer and they have been the best things ever. They did exactly what I wanted them to do which is I don't have to think about them anymore. All I have to think about is keeping my teeth clean. That's it and that's great for me. Extremely low maintenance. Of course there'll come a day where I lose one or one breaks or one chips I'm sure and it'll be a nuisance I'll have to go and get it fixed but I've had them coming up five years and they've been great really good decision for me um next question any more children oh so I answered that in the couple q and I did a big topic around that subject um in that q a which i will leave linked down below um what is your biggest inspiration so mm, what or who is your biggest inspiration i don't really so i've got lots of people that inspire me like some are just within my life some are in the public eye famous uh Ryan inspires me like his motivation inspires me um what is it overall that inspires me because all these people are very very different but the similarity is probably being the best version of yourself and throwing yourself out of your comfort zone because your comfort zone is just the most comfy place to be isn't it like I can get stuck in my comfort zone but the biggest challenge is throwing yourself out of it and going against what you naturally want to do to be the best version of yourself and just having that motivation and pushing through it like even when 
I moved countries, I had really down phases, which I'll speak about when we do the France vlog. Um, but yeah, I used to just scroll through quotes and try and tell myself that I'd done the right thing and just ride it out. And yeah, it's, it, my biggest inspiration is being the best version of yourself and anybody who achieves that or changes as a whole because of that hard work and doing that that's my biggest inspiration i would say living your best life and being the best version of you um oh and last one this is lovely uh please upload more than one video a week your videos are my comfort thank you that is one of my goals to upload more than once a week and the reason i don't is because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist of, with like what content I'm putting out. I can't just whip it out and throw it out. And, you know, like a lot of creators on YouTube, they will use like really shocking, gripping, clickbait titles that make you click on the video. And then you'll find that the video has no relevance really to the title. It's just to get the views. Like, I struggle with all that. I really do. I feel like it's such a letdown when people click on it. And I just love to connect with you lot and put quality content out. So maybe I need to just bring that down a little bit so that we can we can do more vlogs and get, you know, at least two videos a week out. That would be nice. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And like I said, I've been filming lots of stuff in the background as well, which is all coming very soon. So hopefully we will get there and I will stop being so much of a perfectionist and worrying about what I put out too much. And then we might get to two vlogs a week. Yeah, so it's coming. But anyway, thank you everyone. And thank you if you're still watching till this point. I know it's been a very bitty bobby vlog. I apologise and I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all the love and support that you leave me on the channel. Even if it's just a like um, and you don't comment. Like I appreciate you watching and taking time out of your day to catch up. And if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to do so. And I will see you all very soon in my next vlog. Which will be on Sunday. Lots of updates coming. Stay tuned. Love you all so much. Bye guys. Thank you.